Welcome to the spoken tutorial on static variables. In this tutorial, we will learn about what are static variables, creating static variables, and how to use static variables. Here we are using Ubuntu 12.04, JDK 1.7, and Eclipse 4.3.1. To follow this tutorial, you must have knowledge of basics of Java and Eclipse IDE. You should also have the knowledge of classes, objects and instance variables in Java. If not, for relevant Java tutorials, please visit the link shown. A static variable is a variable which is associated with the entire class. It is also called a class variable. It is declared using the static keyword. We have seen about static variable briefly in the earlier tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see it in detail. Let us illustrate the usage of static variables with an example. Consider a class created to represent student enrollment in an organization. This class contains the name, ID, branch and total count of students enrolled. Now let us visualize what happens when student enrollments are done. By default, total count is 0. The name of the first student is Adil. ID is IT101. Branch is IT. Now the total count is updated as 1. Similarly, when the second student Amal gets enrolled, total count is updated to 2. When the third student Karol gets enrolled, total count is updated to 3. Now we can identify that the variable total count is common to all the objects and has a single value. So the variable total count can be represented as a static variable. We can also see that the variables name, id and branch have their own copies for each object. Also, they have specific values for each object. So, these variables can be treated as instance variables. Now, let us explore the differences between instance variables and static variables. Every object has its own copies for instance variables. ID, name, branch or examples of instance variables. Static variables in a class share a single copy with all objects in that class. Total count is an example of static variable. When a class is loaded, a static variable occupies a single fixed memory location, whereas instance variables of each object occupy separate memory locations. Now, let us look at the sample code representing the student enrollment class. The name of the class is student enroll. The instance variables are declared as id, name and branch. The variable count is declared as static since it is common to the whole class. Now, we will switch to Eclipse and create a new project called static variable demo. Inside this project, we will create the necessary classes to demonstrate the usage of static variables. So, right click on SRC folder and click on New, Class and type the name of the class as Student Enroll and press Enter. Now, type the code which was shown in the earlier slide. Now, click on Source and select Generate Constructor using Fields. Delete the super keyword from the generated code. This constructor can initialize the values of the id, name and branch fields. We also need to increment the value of the variable count by 1 every time an object is created. So inside the constructor type count plus plus semicolon. Now we will add a method show data to this class to print the values of all the variables. So type public void show data. Within brackets, type the following code to print the values of id, name, branch, 
and total number of students enrolled. Now right click on the default package and click on new class and then type the name as demo. Inside this class we will have the main method. So type main and then press control space to generate the main method. Now we need to print the student enrollment data. We will create a few objects of student enroll class to represent student enrollments. So type the following code. Student enroll S1 equals new student enroll. Now we can pass the values of different arguments. Within brackets type IT101 as ID, Adil as name and IT as branch. Now let us invoke the show data method to print the enrollment details. So type S1.showData. Now run the demo program. We can see that the values of the instance variables corresponding to S1 get printed. Also note that the value of the number of student enrollments is 1. This is because we have created only one object. Now type the following code to create one more object S2. The show data method can be called once again using S2. Again run the demo program. We can see that the values of the instance variables corresponding to S2 get printed. Also note that the value of number of student enrollments is updated to 2 for both S1 and S2. Now create one more object S3. Now let us invoke the show data method again using S3. Run the demo program again. We can see that the values of the instance variables corresponding to S3 get printed. Also note that the value of the number of student enrollments is now updated to 3 in all the cases. Now we can understand that the value of the number of student enrollments is common to all the objects. Come back to slides. The static modifier is also used along with the final modifier. It is done to define a constant which is common to the entire class. Conventionally, the names of such constant variables are spelled in uppercase letters. If the name is composed of more than one word, the words are separated by an underscore. As an example, if all the students are getting enrolled to the same organization, say IITB, it can be represented by using a constant static variable say org underscore name. Usually we declare such constants with the public visibility. A static variable can be accessed directly from another class by using its own class name. For example, student enroll dot org underscore name. Now come back to Eclipse. Open the student enroll class and type the variable declaration as public static final string org underscore name equals IITB. Now go to the demo class and type the following code. Here you can see that org underscore name is accessed by using its class name student enroll. Now run the demo program again. We can see that the organization name is getting printed as IITB. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about what is a static variable and when it is used, how to create and invoke the static variables. As an assignment, design a class car service to represent a car service station. This class should contain variables to represent the following details. Name of the service station car make model and register number which are in for service number of cars in for service identify the instance variables and static variables declare them using suitable keywords define a constructor to initialize the values for car make model and register number define a method show to print the values of all the variables 
also create a demo class containing the main method to verify the results, that is, create a few objects of car service, invoke the show method using these objects, also access the static variables directly using the class name. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing the online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. The script has been contributed by Department of Information Technology, Amal Jodi College of Engineering. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.